CTV News at 6 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. BC's Deputy Premier and Minister of Finance has resigned. Kevin Falcon is getting out. He will not run for re-election next May. Falcon says he's returning to private life so he can spend more time with his family as they prepare for the birth of another child. And as CTV's Stephen Andrew reports tonight, with the Liberals plummeting in the polls, Falcon's departure is likely not the last. I advised the Premier that I would not be a candidate in the upcoming election. Uh, in 2013 uh, and I also advised the Premier that I would be uh, resigning as Minister of Finance effective immediately. The speculation is over. One of the most influential BC Liberals is stepping away from politics. The 12-year veteran MLA is expecting his second child early next year and he says the time is right. I'd like to uh, have a little more work-life balance and I think I can achieve that with a private sector job. At 49, Falcon is not saying he will never return to politics, but he says he's looking forward to private life. But ultimately we weren't able to. In the Liberal leadership race for Premier, he came in second to Christy Clark, but he dismisses any suggestion the relationship between him and the Premier is rocky. Most people, even critics of our current Premier, will acknowledge that there's probably no better campaigner and there's probably no better communicator. Very focused, very strategic. Falcon has shown strong leadership as Finance Minister. He has kept a tight rein on spending as a self-professed fiscal Conservative, but he dismisses any idea the BC Conservative Party is a viable alternative to the government he is now leaving. And we can see now that, you know, and the provincial Conservatives are not a credible option. The Premier is praising Falcon Everybody. and says his resignation is a loss, but she admits um, thank his you very departure much for coming. is one of many. I think um, I think that there there will be some more. Certainly I've had some of I've had those conversations with people. Today though belongs to Kevin. It's widely expected that Education Minister George Abbott and Energy Minister Rich Coleman will soon make similar announcements. I have also had planned uh, for some time now, a renewal of our cabinet, which will be happening over the coming days. Clark says that team will take the Liberals into the next election in May 2013. But pollsters believe Falcon's resignation spells trouble for the party. So when somebody of this magnitude doesn't want to fight the next election, it really shows that there's something that they're looking at and they don't like it. And people in downtown Victoria agree. Is it over for the Liberals, do you think, in B.C.? Definitely. Why is that? Uh, people just want to change. I think it's going to make a big difference. Like, it's not going to be good for the Liberals. Falcon believes his party has a chance. But as to how he wants to be remembered... I hope they will remember me for uh, always speaking my mind, always saying uh, what I believe to be true, even when it was controversial or uncomfortable. And I always did my very best to try and do the right thing, not the expedient thing. Well, Thank you all very much, folks. And today, that is leaving. CTV Stephen Andrew joins us now with more. Stephen, uh, Shirley Bond now takes on the role of acting finance minister. She's quickly becoming the minister of everything. Yes. Why did the premier uh, choose to give that, that portfolio to someone who's already attorney general and justice minister? Well, Clark told her caucus that she wanted a decision uh, by the end of summer for everyone who was planning to resign, and that's exactly what she got. She's waiting for the other shoes to drop over the coming days for the dust to settle, and then she's hoping to get a bounce of the polls by announcing a new cabinet. A renewed cabinet, as she yes. puts. Yeah. Uh, so who else? You mentioned in your report that uh, George Abbott may be next. What other uh, cabinet ministers or others may be uh, stepping down? Well, the reality, Clark, says that she was planning to renew her cabinet. Actually, she has no choice. Education Minister George Abbott is expected to make an announcement. We're expecting that tomorrow. And Rich Coleman is rumored to be leaving as well. You, you can expect the rest of the resignations to come quickly. The Premier will want them out of the way so she can introduce her new team when the legislature resumes on October the 1st, Hudson. Be an interesting fall, Stephen. It will. Thank you. You're welcome. Stephen Andrew reporting.